Did you know that you can use different events to help you get motivated to organize, declutter, and clean? I'm going to tell you how, but first you got to understand why it works. Because of the fact when you have ADHD and you get close to a deadline of an event that you scheduled. Now I'm not talking about, hey, I'm going to cook dinner or hey, I'm going to go to the store or whatever. Those are not the events I'm talking about. I'm talking about if you have to go at a concert, a movie, have a date, have a friend coming over. These are different types of events that will help you motivate you to organize, declutter and clean. And so when those events get closer and you know that that event has a deadline, then you're going to kick into overdrive mode. Have you experienced this before? You've got a, you've got a deadline to get ready to go on vacation or something, be somewhere on time. And hey, the vacation six months out. You're cool. Don't have to worry about it. Not even going to think about packing for it at all. And then it gets like two weeks out and it gets one week out. And now you're rushing all around. Your adrenaline's going. Your dopamine is going. And you are in overdrive mode because of the fact that that event is close now. And so it's entered that space that is like, hey, that event's close. Your brain figures it out. And that is when it kicks in to say that event right there is important and so when that happens it gives you the extra motivation that you need and so that is why this works i'm going to tell you how you can use that to help you get motivated to organize clean declutter so the first thing you got to realize with this is because of the way that it works the event is going to kind of choose itself and that sounds funny but it's pretty much true because of the fact when you have ADHD, you're dealing with executive function deficit and your brain up there has a manager and that manager's going, this event's close. That's important. This event's closer. That's important. This event's close. That's important. But it doesn't matter about the actual importance of the event. If you're looking at a cat video and that's happening now, that is the most important thing. Even though you have a project three weeks out that you have to finish and you know that if you don't get started on it now, that you'll never finish that project in time but it's just not close enough to the time of the fact that it doesn't override what you're doing right now, the things that you are happening to do right now. And that's what you deal with when you have executive function deficit. You're trying to tell your brain, hey, I wanna know the important things. And the reason that this happens is because when you have ADHD, you have a time horizon and the time horizon is the time that it takes for that event to come into your right now, you see it, and you have that time frame to which it becomes important. Now the event has to have a deadline. For example, if you have a date and someone says, hey, let's go and hang out on Saturday and they don't give you a time that has no definitive deadline that may not motivate you because you just don't know. You're like, okay, it's on Saturday, but when Saturday? Now, if they say, hey, we're gonna go, go on a date at 7 p.m. on Saturday and before i'm gonna come by and we'll talk a little bit in your house or apartment whatever and then we'll leave and go because of the fact they're coming inside your house or apartment and they're gonna see that then it's going to motivate you to clean or organize or declutter because of the fact you don't want that date walking in and being like wow you know hey this is not a really kind of clean place or whatever and they'll be kind of looking around but you know hey i want to make a good impression and so now, because I want to make the good impression, I get I get started to motivate it to start and doing all those things to make everything look nice. So when they come over, that they walk into a nice looking place. Now, another part of this is going to be the fear of missing out. Say you have a concert you're going to and you're going with family and friends and either before or after they're coming to hang out at your house or apartment. And so, again, you want your house or apartment looking nice. And so that means before you go to the concert, because you don't want to get there late, you know, some concerts you get to, you know, you get there and then you're sitting there for an hour and a half before the people come out. But the point is you want to be there with your friends on time. And since you know that you only have a limited amount of time, because when they come back, they might come back to your house or apartment. So you want to have it clean. You want to have it organized. You want to have it in at least some type of decent shape as to where they come in and be like, oh yeah, this is cool. You don't have to have it pristine, right? You just have to have it to the point to where it's like, okay, this is a clean, nice environment. And since you know you have a definite time you wanna be at that concert, so you wanna have your cleaning and decluttering and organizing all done before you have to go to the concert. And so if you don't get it done, then you might miss out on something really cool at the concert. Hey, I wanna be at the concert with my friends or family 
on time. I don't want to miss out on anything. I don't want to miss out on any acts that might come on, come out before or anything that's cool that happens. Now, another thing you might want to be aware of is that you might be dealing with a deadline for the prep of the event as well. So you're going to have a pool party. You want everyone to come over and have fun. And so you have to go get hamburgers, hot dogs, drinks, whatever, pool noodles, the little inner two things that float. You want to have an amazing pool party. Well, you have to have those things done before the actual event. So you also have a deadline for those things, for the prep for everything, to make sure you have everything, make sure you have ice in the ice chest. All these different things need to be done before the pool party. But you also have to do some cleaning organizing, and that is also a deadline. So you have to decide on which one you want to do first, but they both have to be done. And so they will both motivate you to get everything done before the event happens. Now, the other cool thing is once the event gets here, then if the event is fun, it may give you some extra dopamine. And what I mean by that, you see your friend, you know, you fist bump and hug or whatever that you want to do. And because your friend is there, it puts a smile on your face. And so you get that feeling of satisfaction, right? And so you see other friends and you have a good time and the pool party or whatever, it just goes amazing. And through that whole experience, you're getting little hits of dopamine as you are having an amazing time. And so the anticipation of all that and then the event itself can be a great way for you to boost that dopamine production. And then after all that, when the event is over and you get that feeling of, okay, it's over, I'm done. And then you get the feeling of accomplishment. You have met your goal. You're done. The event's over. Everything went well. Whatever didn't go well, you know, sometimes you'll say, hey, that's okay. I still got through it and finished it. And now it's done and complete. And I think everyone had a really good time. And so that can create a little bit of dopamine as well because you've reached that goal. And reaching a goal can be an amazing thing to help with dopamine production. So now you see how that works. But I do have another video that also goes over motivation for organizing your house or apartment, how you gain that motivation and how you can use it to help you get into that mode to clean your house or apartment. You can watch that video right here.